set me on fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a criminal offence. Yeah, I, yeah. I was actually singing the song at a campfire once, and yeah. um, I caught on fire, genuinely. <laughs> like, I had my foot in the fire without noticing, and yeah. that incident was really literally on fire. <laughs> um, which is kind of a strange yeah. It is. When life yeah. imitates art. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're recording this session tonight, and uh, if you want to hear it again, it's on www.choiceradio, which is all one word, .org.uk, like Ellie's mum's going to listen to it on there. And uh, also, King Day's filming it tonight. Oh, I am indeed. And it'll be on our p Facebook page live from the Royal in about two months. Maybe. He's having problems at the moment. You'll have to wait and find out. Uh, right, uh, well, wait, have you got a website page they can check you out on? We've got Facebook, yeah. which is just the mistakes. Yeah. Thing. And Twitter, which I think is the same. Yeah. We've got a Tumblr as well. Oh, what's Tumblr? I've never heard of Tumblr. Tumblr is another yeah, that doesn't social surprise me. network. Is it? Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Um, and we've got YouTube as well. Where we've, we've not got much stuff up yet because we've not really done any recordings. We've got the odd live video that's yeah. on our YouTube. Yeah. Do you ever get to play this way? We, we've only we've seen people. We've seen all the sexy weirdos because I think they yeah. live around yeah. here. Um, yeah. We were going to play it. Yeah, we were going to play at the Mars Bar, yeah. um, but um, it didn't work out. Oh. Couldn't do, couldn't do the day, but maybe in the future we will. We've not really been down this end, we've never really been outside of Birmingham, kind yeah. of town and Moseley and Kinsley. Yeah. We've done a spoil in Birmingham, so you don't ever want to. No. Yeah. 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 yeah, there are so many venues in Birmingham to get around. Yeah. Um, What's your favourite venue, then? Oh, is this kicking the Oh, lovely. It's an Go amazing there, it's little so cafe. Nice. The yes. food's like heavenly. Brilliant food. Mm -hmm. And it's like a really artsy little venue. It's, um, so, where's this now? Borsal Heath. Borsal Heath, I yeah. actually. Yeah. In the edge of Rosely. Um, it's a really beautiful little place. It's lots of, they've got um, lots of cool exhibitions on if you're into art as well. Mm -hmm. um, and they just hold little gigs like for people like us. Mm -hmm. Good fire. I always like the, the venues that have nobody there. <laughs> 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 Good. You feel yeah. really confident, and that's always good. And then the, the Tower of Song in Sturgeon. Oh, we love the Tower of Song, Uncle yeah. Tom. Yeah, because yeah. 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 everyone's just massively respectful. Yeah, yeah. whoever's playing, and yeah. I think that's that's what makes it well. So yeah, like exactly. pretty much everyone in the room gets up and plays a song, and it's really nice just listening to each other. Yeah, the way folks. Yeah. Yeah, I went there oh, about a month ago, and um, there was a double book in the, the main act that hadn't turned up. This one guy just put a guitar off, off, off the wall, and just like playing. <laughs> brilliant. Try to get him for a session. Oh, yeah. yeah. We, we played that the other day. We yeah. had the main yeah. song as well. Yeah. Um, Have you been on the TV one yet? Not yet. No. no. But it does sound really good. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. I can't be too We'll do it. We'll come up to you in the summer time. Um, influences. What are your influences, then? Ooh, I want to say Laura Marley. Yeah. Yeah, but that's like standard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we love Laura Marley. Yeah. But like, Eliza Carthy is absolutely amazing. We saw her really recently at a festival and we were just playing away. Yeah, yeah they, they were, it was like a four piece. Yeah. All playing violins. Let's try and remember the names. It's Lucy Farrell, Bella Hardy, Kate Young? Yeah, and Eliza Carthy uh -huh. together. Because they were all fiddles as well. So yeah. Yeah. me and Anna were like, we need that, we need that, we need yeah. to do that. Um, to them, yes. Yeah. They've really inspired us to do a lot more practice and kind mm -hmm. of try and get to the standard. I mean, um, just people that do traditional music really, like Sam Chris. Lee does some amazing, yeah, Chris Wood. They, they, they all do some amazing traditional music and we, we like kind of what they do with it and yeah. kind of a modern take on it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm influenced a lot by kind of, well, like classical and rock as well, mm -hmm. like our more angry songs, our more funky songs. Like, yeah. <laughs> Led Zeppelin and like, um, I like the way Amy McDonald sings as well. Yeah. I take a lot of inspiration from her voice and the way that she, she sings. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is there only one person who's helped you in your musical career so far, more than anybody else? Oh, uh, you know what? Probably Johnny from the Weirdos. He, yeah. He books us and he plugs us and he's written reviews for us. He's a good lad. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And we've got 
two really awesome band boyfriends. Um, Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yes. um, Jay Cartwright, who's an amazing, amazing singer, like he's wicked, and he every time he has a gig, he asks us to us to support. So yeah, cool. recently really started good. gathering him in to sing some male vocals, yeah, and yeah. harmonica, and he's he's a good guitarist, he's yeah. an incredible guitarist. And then there's Ethan as well, who is our techie, the one that's yeah. talking about. He, drives us everywhere, like we went to a festival and while we sound checked he put up our tent and yeah. like oh, oh, oh. gets us drinks, like he's great. Blimey. Really yeah. good, yeah. Can we hire him? <laughs> Dude, he's really good. Yeah, he's really good. He's Take actually up really... town, bring him up. <laughs> yeah, be, be handy. Take him for a meal afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. So you've been doing a lot of festivals this year? Yeah. Not enough. Not enough. Next no. year we decided we're gonna tour all the folk festivals around them. Yeah. Um, the UK. Yeah. I mean, this year we did Mad Fest up in Barnsley, which we mentioned, mm. and then um, the B Festival, yeah, Birmingham European yeah. Yeah. Festival, which was awesome. Mm. Um, although we did have to play for like three hours straight, it was Oof. pretty intense. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, we played for the odd kind of theatre night as well. Yeah. Um, mm. Some of our, some of the instrumentals that we play um, were born through. I don't really have much to do. It was more Ellie and Anna, mm. but. Um, writing music for the for the performances. So you did the Tempest. Yeah, mm. that's what I do. I do a lot of writing music for these companies. And, yeah. Um, yeah. That's how a lot of our songs were born actually. They yeah. kind of come out. We just wrote that. Yeah. 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 I wrote it for that show, but shall we put it in the set anyway? Yeah. yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Can you see the the band getting more than free or, or are you happy and kind of contented with, with free? I can't think three. It's, it's a good number, like yeah. a trio. But then occasionally playing with yeah, we yeah. like bringing in like extras, yeah. like Chael will come and do yeah. yeah, and we found that we sometimes invade Chael's set. Well, I play with Chael anyway, yeah. and yeah. I play with him too. But when we all, all three of us, the other day when we wrote the Tower song, we did this, like four part harmony, and we never really did that before because yeah. one of us is always playing an instrument or, mm -hmm. or so and so. So getting a chance to all sing yeah. together was really so good. Yeah. We can do that more often. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Um, how many instruments can you play? Oh, that's um, a hard question. Yeah. Well, I, I play violin, obviously, yeah. and then the viola, which everyone says is the same thing. But I play them if it's not the same thing. It's quite yeah. different. Yeah. Um, what way? It's, well, it's, it's bigger. <laughs> is it like a cello? Is, is no, it no, a cello? you put it under your chin. Right, So gotcha. I suppose it's quite similar. Yeah. But, um, it's bigger, so you kind of have to put a lot more effort in to right. get and, you know, out. and it's tiring. Yeah, it's okay. tiring. <laughs> um, yeah, but I actually prefer the viola. It's a lot more juicy. You get yeah. the, the, the low C strings. We might start playing that in the band. Yeah. Yeah. And my viola the other day. Yeah. And I play a little bit of piano and yeah. guitar, but violin is, is the one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, my main area is brass instruments, I play like yeah. the trombone and the trumpet and kind of whatever you can hand me really, yeah. brass wise, and then I play guitar and piano yeah. as well. Do, do you use a brass one in, in, in your show? Yes, yeah? yes. We, we have a trumpet usually, yeah. which is really sad we haven't bought it tonight. Oh well, we are, because yeah. we've never had a trumpet <laughs> up there, I was saying. Next oh, yeah. time, next time, we'll, yeah. we'll bring a trumpet. We're thinking of putting the trumpet in the van as well. Ooh, low notes, yeah. yeah. I don't know. That. Yeah. New song. Yeah. I think it has trombone part. Oh. Um. Huh. Okay, time for another? Yes. We're going to do a, a traditional one now, right. which um, goes to a really um, well known hymn tune, mm -hmm. um, but it's a cappella. So it just gives us a good behind the notes. Which is fun. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 